It's my joy and my passion to teach small children in kindergarten. I think it's that spark that comes into their eyes as they read their first word or discover something new about their environment or about themselves. And the light just comes on and curiosity spills over and suddenly a lifelong learner is born. My name is Melody and I teach kindergarten here at Masters Academy in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I have a team teacher and we teach together a class of 28 students. At the beginning of our day we meet together at the mat. This is a time of real community building. We pray together, we talk about our weekend, things that we've done. This is when we get to know the students. This is also where we introduce the story or scenario of what's going to be going on that day. It sparks the excitement for the stations and for the learning that will take place the rest of the day. Because space determines behavior and perception, it's important to have a space that reflects our beliefs about how children learn. We love having a variety of different places in our room to work together. With what we have here, we can pull a small group and have those intimate times together, and we can have the large group celebrations together. Choosing round tables for our literacy stations encourages children to collaborate and provides a sense of inclusion and belonging. The natural light that comes in from the windows helps the children with alertness and creativity, while our classroom lights are on dimmers to create a calmer atmosphere. One of the first things that we approach with the kindergarten students is what a learning map is. Before they can understand a learning map, they have to reflect on what is a map. A map shows us where we want to go, shows us where we are now, and gives us the steps to get there. So a learning map does the same thing for their learning. After students understand the concept of the learning map, we go right into I can statements. We start off with something really simple. I can read my name. I can statements are the curriculum broken down into child-friendly language. I can statements are important because they can really celebrate their success. They can go home or come up to their teacher, come to mom and dad and say, here are the things I can do. We teach that the first step in learning is figuring out what you don't know. And that's where our thumbs up, thumbs to the side system really comes into play. We have the children find their name, give a thumbs up if you were able to find your name, and then we introduce, well, if you had some trouble finding your name or you weren't sure which name was yours, you might want to give a thumbs to the side. That means I need a little bit more practice. Traditionally, it's been the teacher's job to let the students know if and when they're meeting the benchmarks. But we have found that when we shift those roles and when the curriculum is in the hands of the students, they can take ownership. So right from the get-go, students are learning that learning is not something a teacher hands to you. It is something that you participate in fully. We're now seeing that when we shift that role to the students, the curriculum is in their hands, they know what they're doing, and they know when and if they're meeting the benchmarks. So students and teachers are identifying gaps in real time, and suddenly mastery is achievable for all, and not just the select few.